Oh, I thought I had it. Oh, I have the map. Okay, much better than yesterday. Hopefully they don't have, um... Hopefully they don't have... Prismatic I don't thing. see Tron. I just see Mono Green Control, K-E-K-W. Catadonic Walrus. Welcome back, thank you so much for the 42 months. Just because of Boomer Tron stream. Nice. What's up? Thanks for the 25 months old tree. Hope you've been good all these COVID months. Okay. Is Karn even worth it at this point? Karn, let them draw two. I mean, I'm not gonna play it next turn if they don't do anything. Oh, they're playing a. Oh, right, they're not playing Hammer Time, they're playing a Yorion deck. So they're playing. Maybe Squadron Hog deck. And people play that card, I think. Oh, okay. That makes it easy. Plastic Ballista, always the nuts. Except when you misclick. Yo, Infamous Fish, thank you so much for your free gifted sub. And Pirazzo, welcome to the sewer. Whether you wanted it or not. Did I add Kaza like I did add Emrakul because it's higher casting cost, so it's harder for them to get rid of it. Was he just laughed her? Is it harder or is it just like less cards? Either way, I didn't want to play both. So some people have Emrakul. Not sure which one you're supposed to have though. Ballista. All right, Mono White. What hate stuff do I need to be worried about out of Mono White? It's not much, right? Do we need to have Arbiters plus something? Should I bring in... What possible hate card could they have, chat? I think I'm going to cut the Relics and maybe bring in this member. Yeah, not having Nature's Claim when Urza Saga is half of the meta is kind of unreal. Probably Field of Rain and Ghost Quarter. Mm. Well, not much I can do about that. I have a few basics. Isn't really good if they have proc type cards. I don't think you care about that part of their deck, right? Because your cards, your win conditions couldn't care less about them gaining life. One tower, one Sylvan's Crying, a Dismember. It's probably kind of close. Two Tron pieces and a Cantrip. Is that a Mulligan against Mono White? Maybe? All right, I guess I should keep and get rid of maybe one of the stars. Which one's better? This one's a mana ability. This one. That might actually be the only deck that plays Void Mirror because they have nothing else. Yeah. That's true. 
It'd be funny. Well, I have a blast zone. I think I'm gonna play. I think I'm just I'm not gonna start playing into their Sentinel. My hand doesn't do much, anyways. I can take a turn off. Thank. Hey, Sean. Hey, XB. XP Shen. Got a sweet MTG nerd girl emote. No need to rush. Depends, yeah, depends what they have in their deck. If they have nothing annoying in their deck, I should probably just let them draw cards and play my own game. But if there's actually like stuff they can draw into, like Ghost Quarters and Field of Rune, I don't want to start giving them free cards. Yo, man, Neutron, yeah. Someone, someone was really generous with uh, gifted subs yesterday, and they wanted to see some green Tron. I saw you get, I saw you got wrecked. The only, the only uh, few minutes I watched this morning of your stream, you got wrecked by uh, just natural Tron. Oh, you did take revenge afterwards? Nice. Spend 4 on beating 2 Trons. It's not easy with blue eyed artifacts. Depends, I guess... I guess it depends how many spreading seas you have in your sideboard. No, I never leave home with less than 2 damping here. How many spreading seas do you play these days? Sell 4? 0? Hmm. Hmm. That being sure can be good if you kill them before they get to life of blade and stone mana. Slows you down a bit though. You're trying to cast a bunch of spells too. How big is Galar complete? 5-5. Five, five. So I can just like take one next turn to put Galar complete and play I dismember it. I guess there was no reason to play Bustasia right away. Could have held. I reach on Tiganta now and on Tiganta. Alright, Mingu. See you later. All right, so should I play multiple spells, right? That was a mistake playing the land first, whoops. Stupid. Oh, never mind. I had to play the land first. I was thinking if I draw a Tron land, I want to be able to play it right away, but yeah, I want to pay for Sentinel. They're playing really slow for some reason. Maybe bad internet. All right, now what? Do I play another star or do I play my map? Expose my map. I think the double map would be kind of nasty. All right, and there's a field of rune. Called it. Chat called it. Chat knows all. Not a big deal. They have very little pressure. Is free spell pierce in my board of Grixit Death Shadow enough hate for Tron, or do I need some other card? I think Alpine Moon is a good card to has, have as a one or two up in your sideboard for Urza Saga decks and Tron. I think it's pretty stuck. Or stock. All right, so I can place Sylvan's Crying into a map. Which one am I supposed to get? Just Power Plant? Because I'm less likely to draw it. 
or is there a reason for getting to one you have the most of? And even argue uh, better against. Okay, let's not expose Mab this time since we saw card like March of the Outer Worldly Lights. I wouldn't worry too much about Tron being healthy gamers unless you're playing at a low guild game store and you know there's a lot of Tron. But a couple Alpine Moon. Combo says you can just dress down plus Unholy Heat a Worm Coil. It's all set up, but doesn't sound like unreasonable. There's all the Tron player. Is there though? F6, I don't have blockers. Still ask me if I want to do something in blockers. All right. So they got walking ballista. I'm at 10. They have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 damage. Let's see. Let's start by. Cycling for some green. See what the draw step is. Oh, tower. So they can sack the captain next turn, right? So I need to play Oblivion Stone now. The question is, do I want to play my map or not? Map's not going to save me, right? I'm just giving them one more draw step to a march. Alright, let's not do that then. So I'll let them draw more cards. Can you imagine if we lose to mono I basically almost no hate? I'm surprised you don't know about the secret Tron Cabal that strategically places players so every star has a Tron player. <laughs> yeah. So where are you from? Oh, uh, I got relocated for work. Oh, why do you play? Oh, I play Tron. Oh. Lost your wallet. Yikes, Alex. Oh, that sounds like pain. <laughs> This song will drive you mad, this song will drive you mad. Pay five for active trees and well that might sound pretty bad. This song will drive you mad, this song will drive you mad. But how about if I told you you can play it as a land? Damn, it's just like all school. Bunch of creatures, bunch of disenchants. Come beat it. I think I'm dead there. Last card in hand is walking ballista. Maybe not actually. How much is that? Let's see if they stack range or captain or not. The song audio is coming from my speakers. No, it might be both though. It is for me, but you should hear it through the desktop. Wait, what? Properties for audio. Yeah, it did echo because it was loud. It usually doesn't echo. I mean, that's that's my usual setup. So I don't know why it would be different today. Yeah, it's definitely echo, but usually people don't really complain about the echo. All right, so I'm at four. We have two damage from Ballista. So I think I'm just very screwed here. How do I even win? Maybe this is a Fractus matchup against all that stuff. And the Sentinels. Am I playing, I'm playing, thinking about playing some Vintage Cube? I have already. You missed it. I might play some more though. Okay, here's a Oblivion Stone. Except I don't have the mana to uh 
All right, I have to take a Bliven Stone and hope to hit exactly my last Urza Mine of, uh, well, we found a winning line at least. Pretty unlikely. Close, close, real close. I might do a, a vintage cube draft after this league, depending on how much time's left. I figured this league might go fast because Crown's kind of a fast deck. All right, I definitely want frack tasks. I think the dismember are good, and I'm just gonna cut some top ends. Take mine to try and hit Ost. Oh, you're right. I took I took Ostone because I already had an Ostone in my graveyard, so there was more mines than Ostones left. But I didn't factor in Ugin, so actually taking mine was higher EV play. Also Ballista, right? Ballista, wow, that was bad, yeah. I like cut my outs in half. Even Worm Call Engine, right? Oh, that was terrible. Oh, jeez. Oh. <sighs> Is Basaju the new card? Yeah, I guess it's not really Boomer Tron. Maybe I shouldn't have played Basaju. Yeah. White 2 a line. Uh, Mill, Burn. Maybe some of the shit, maybe some of the discard decks. Do I like Tron? Mm. I don't mind it. What about Blast Zone? How about this Blast Zone? All right, a tower, a string, a string. I'm definitely keeping against their, their deck because of Ballista and stuff. Even though I don't have Relouts to turn free Tron. Blazen is War of the Spark. Is that the evil set? Is that the Teferi Time Rambler set? All right, what's the play here? It's kind of scary. I drew my second basic. Only have one left. I think I'm going to wait on Ballista. Try and play it as a 2 2. Play Sylvan's Crying next turn. Oh, Eldrain is the evil set. Captain Puskai said he. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello, Design! And welcome to another stream of me playing Tron. I'm your host, Yellow Hat, and I'm just a dirty, dirty, dirty Tron lover. What can I say? So they got Skaldor complete again, which might be a problem this game. The seul streamer en anglais qui prononce pas Sky comme il faut. Bah ouais, mais bon. Encore. Alright, well, hopefully they can't put Kadra complete in play and get rid of Tron Tower, mine, with that power plant. Oh. War of the Spark Limited was very enjoyable. I don't remember. I wonder if that was not the last, one of the last limited formats I played seriously. I wonder if that wasn't the limited format that was the draft format at Pro Tour London. War was so bad it made me quit magic. 
Okay, we got Tron. What do we do with it? Five five first strike tramp. Wait, why didn't they play it right away? Has haste. First strike trample indestructible haste. So I can't block it. It doesn't have vigilance though, so you can just race it with Wormcall engine. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to just play star. Pay for the S for Sentinel. They could have um they could have March. They could pay two for March and then pay the res by exiling some white cards. There's actually the um, in the first step of the the new spy show that my friend uh wrote and directed. It's a spy show during the Cold War, and there's a in the first step there's a a part where they're playing the the Russian uh, the the USSR anthem and it's subtitled, so I got to know some of the lyrics. It says something about unity of the people, friendship of the people, of the great you know Soviet Union, and something something something. As someone who was born in the USSR, I despise this. I'm sorry. I think. You're one of the first people who uh who actually like makes it feel bad. Like I've had a lot of Russian people say they don't mind it and they enjoy it and it's not a big deal. It's obviously nothing to do, it's just our little private joke was the companions being comrades and just one thing led to another. You don't really mind it actually. Okay, so why are you trying to to make everyone feel bad then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, better skull. <laughs> I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> I think they're just trying to make me feel bad, not everyone. Yeah, good point. I mean, if people feel like it's weird to be playing right now because of what's going on uh, between Russia and Ukraine and stuff. If people feel like it's all insensitive. I don't really think that's the case, but... Oh, is that Vigilance now? Vigilance, first strike, flying. All right, it all. Good thing I have Karn. Tron's pretty good when you get to assemble Tron. NGL. All right. 11 mana. I get two to Ballista, shoot Sentinel, play a Karn, shoot something. Probably want to get rid of the Batter Skull. What else would I do? I could do Karn and pay for Sentinel. Dismember. There's nothing I really want to dismember. Yeah, okay, I'll just do that. Seems good enough. Good enough for now. I might I might lose my uh I might lose my Karn, but I still have Dismember and Basaju. And they don't have the mana for, uh, do they, to like play the thingy and equip it. It does get rid of the germ. So they have one less creature. Is this batter skull ever going to be a problem? Hmm. If I get rid of the germ... I can probably protect my car and with Ballista. Wait, no, it has trampled, right? It has too much. To, it's like it's like vigilance that it doesn't have. All right, it has trample. All right, so my so my car is probably gonna die regardless. So I'm gonna get rid of Batter Skull since Batter Skull gives vigilance and lifelink. Just the things, two things that are kind of missing. Uh, 
that the color are complete is missing. I could have let them draw cards. No. I was gonna say, no. Oh, this was fine. I recommend saving coins for card draw. I have this number, right? I don't really care about card draw. How do you say Tron in French? It's a Royale with cheese. Yeah, of course. It's because of the metric system. We don't count mana the same way. Thanks for the reset, the acidic, acidic. Oh, you're just making up quotes now, get smart. It's out of control. I mean, it's bad enough when people just quote me out of context, which is all the time, or misquote me. Let alone just get smart making up stuff that I've never even come close to saying. Is it really called a royal with cheese? Yeah, why I cheese? The quarter pounder? It used to be. I don't even know if they still have it, though, if they still make it. Double dismember. All right, let's hope they never draw anything for that worm call engine. Because that's all I got going right now. I don't even besiege you my own worm call, right? Open controls. Probably should have minus on their gem. Germ block Caldera was warm to keep Karn around. Yukon block Caldera was germ. It first strikes and then exiles my germ. It has first strike and it says whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, exile that creature. My dear Misty Wyan, you did not make a very first uh you did not make a very good first impression. But welcome to the chat anyways. Hope you uh, keep enjoying the stream. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> what is Frenchman most proud of over cheese or one or something else? I, I don't know. I don't know what other French people take pride in. I take pride in the fact uh, that most French people are vaccinated right now and that we don't have too many people who vote for far right wing candidates as a, as compared to other countries, I guess. We have a lot still, but could be worse, I guess. Ooh, hello. Old 12, sure. I admire the French for how they took care of their rich person problem a few hundred years ago and need to revisit that methodology. Yeah. Few, few, uh, you know, not, not too many, you know, just a few. Well, few, uh, like bring back the guillotine limit limited edition limited time maybe i'll get the rich uh the rich horrible people in line am i not part of the one percent i don't think so I wish. also it's not about the one percent it's about the like 0 0.00001 percent that that feel like they need their like billions dollar or their hundreds million dollar. 
it's not about the one percent is exactly what a one percenter would say. Oh wow, Yuri on uh Yuri on Cotter complete. You can also Yuri on a bunch of Stoneforge and they're port they're gonna Yuri on Portable Hole anyways, right? So I should shoot something. I should just shoot the two Stoneforge Mystics. But they're down to eight, just realized. I should still shoot Stoneforge Mystics. Monolite is going way over the chum. Fun is very funny, yeah. I'm fi finding out the... the thousand and one ways that Tron can, can lose a game of Magic. Even when things kind of go right. I'm still in decent shape. I guess they're getting to the point where they can just cast uh If they have a land, they actually have seven mana next turn because they have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five white permanents. So their their Nyctos is printing. I might have to use Basaju on Nyctos. I maybe Basaju on if I use it on an artifact, I just get the the mana anyways. If I get there, Nick does, they get a land, they play a land that's one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I might not have Giver of Runes. Target creature against so. Damn. What buys me the most time? Getting rid of them all at some point, or. I guess I miss. I don't know. I think killing Maul buys me more time than slowing down on the turn. I mean, you just slam it on the Yorion and get a really fast clock. All right, I'm going to hold it, maybe try and trick them. The pig, the pig's been flooped. The pig's been flooped. It's got to be a screen name change. 23 months. And I've never seen that screen name before. Unless you're like some god cure lurker. That just keeps stubbing without even uh, sharing the, the resub. But yeah, things been flipped. Thank you so much for your 23 months. Appreciate you. Whoever you are, were. Mathematic back was 19 months. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh... Damn, they actually have the march too. Did they have a two turn clock? Six damage, seven damage, 18, six, seven, 10. No, free turn. All right, I think I should use Basaju now. Might save me a tiny bit of time. Down to 20, 8, 12. I mean, it's still a two turn clock, but. All right. Classic walking ballistas, just bailing me out. The struggle is real. Barely beat, uh, barely beat Mono White. 
Iniesta is a soccer player. Leyline. Not like this. Not Leyline. What's up with turn one Leyline chat? Is that like Boggles? Misty reinforced Leyline of Sanctity. Oh, it's probably um, the Glimpse deck. Yeah, I think so, Sebastian. I think it's the Glimpse deck. The Suspended Glimpse. Okay, I guess I should cycle some stuff then, right? Since I've thrown anyways. So they play Leyline because it's a free permanent to start the game was, and it has decent utility in the format. I'm going to have the rare turn free Tron, but no payoff. Looks like it. Okay. Why not? Worm Call Engine might kind of beat them in some ways, like might beat some of their medium sized uh, glimpse. Unless, looks like they actually, you know what? Looks like they might be playing the, maybe that's the, maybe that's the R conversion. Maybe that's the Emrakul R conversion. Yeah, nice relic. Really got me there. Come target them. Don't mind if I do. One free mana. Any strings first? Do you get lucky? Okay, should I start by attacking maybe? Nah, yeah, I missed again. I'm sorry about the suspicion too. I, I felt bad. I, I hope you saw. I was trying to apologize. I don't know if I did a good job. Yeah, no. And also in game one, you played into my march. You played like Urza Saga on turn one when I had march in my opening hand. And yeah, dude, I hope, I hope people didn't give you crap for it. And I hope um, you accept my apology for being a bit out of line. I mean, even if I have suspicion, I should just put up a hand hider and not make a big deal about it and just move on and just make it clear that it's just for my own protection and my peace of mind and that the likelihood someone's actually Ghosting me is extremely low. You love my content too, yeah. I'm, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm, I was, I felt bad. I felt like it was all the marketing words to get Michael Benson to give a sub. Yeah, we're, me and Mystican were. It's not the actual real Mystican either. Right, I'm just gonna take a little mug, I guess. Uh, let's see. Just play mine. Let's see, go. Anyways, you played really well, and um, congrats on the top eight. <laughs> also, hope you enjoyed my horrendous mistakes. I played that match so bad. But, um, yeah. Well, I'm glad you uh, came and said something. All right, so we didn't... We saw Fury. We still don't know if their killing was the, like, mid-range plan or the Andrazi plan. There's not too much I can do, though, right, against them. 
This member is kind of bad. I think I want all my threats. They're mostly good against them. Nature's claim is... I mean, I can play one permanent to make their glimpse a little worse. Maybe just play Basage with them. Maybe just Fractus is okay just to, like, stall the board. Yeah, I don't know if you saw what happened. I, uh... I didn't when I cast my iteration. I didn't realize I couldn't I could I couldn't fetch another on tap blue source because I already had all in play, and then I couldn't play counter spell anymore. I was like that game was I made, and even on the last turn I could have maybe just taken the hit on my Teferi. That was like kind of a close one too. Yeah, no, I felt bad. I was six and zero, oh and it was kind of good that I had to cook dinner for. I had to prepare lunch for my family lunch on Sunday. So if I had made top eight, I don't know, I would have ended up going to bed at like six or 6 a.m. or something ridiculous. So in some ways it was good that I didn't make top eight. All right, one card, maybe Veil. Let me take a quick look, see if I still have the deck built. Where are you? Glimpse on there. So they could have Force of Vigor, Foundation Breaker. They could have their own card in the Great Creator. If they're playing that version. I mean, none of these cards really do anything. May I just do a Frag Dusk? Oh, but then as a 5 list uploaded, if I want to check their win con. Oh yeah, I usually don't do that for leagues. I don't bother too much. I'll do it for like challenges and be serious and for leagues. Uh, I'll be the surprise. All right, I have map and a tower and a stirring and a star. I think I'm supposed to mulligan this hand in a goldfishy matchup. Also, Karn is not that great of a threat against them. This hand's just as bad. All right, now we have mine, map, Star, Blade and Stone, which is pretty good. I'm going to keep, and I'm going to get rid of Ragtusk and Chromatic Star. Doesn't do much for me. Is Emrakul only for male? Yeah, I think so. Maybe you want Cosleg. This way you have another 10 mana card that you can bring in against Control. Expedition map when they might have the evoke creature is you could you could probably argue for leading with chromatic star here. But I don't know what their exact list is, so I'm just gonna make the level one play. So do I just want to star and map since I don't know which land I'm looking for? Oh, this is why you usually need star there. Star first. Oh, star first because you don't want to play the map right away anyways because you don't know what you're going to want to tutor for. Yeah. Yeah, so if I go star... Yeah, okay. Kind of like somewhat counterintuitive to not play those expedition map. All right, it's spinning the wheel. Is it a bunch of Emrakuls and, uh, and Archons or? All oh, right, it's the Omniscience version, yikes. So I guess I should bring in Nature's Claim because you actually have, um, while the spell is still on the stack, you can Nature's Claim on Omniscience. So I'll bring in Nature's Claim as their third game <laughs> for Genitus. Nice. Not omniscience, that's fine. Oh, they're gambling? They're actually gambling? Wow. I have pretty good gamble. <laughs> it's a new version? Not really. 
the old uh, that was my preferred version. I don't know about progenitus though. Genitus seems kind of sketch. This deck's uh, better than it looks too. For people who think that deck looks their deck looks kind of trashy, it's actually I don't know. I thought it was like pretty decent when I played it. I was actually favoring that version. All right, let's not do Ballista or Fractusk. Oh, I never boarded out the relics here. Archon, Leyline. So I want to all my... Leyline doesn't stop Archon, right? It's just each open, probably. Maybe just a dismember, just so they have one less creature when they go off. Leyland does stop Archon. Mm. Oh, mistakes were made. Is that a keep? On the play? Blastzone's also not the absolute worst against them. Like turn four Blastzone. It's not a keep. Okay. Oh. Hello. Basically never keep seven that has zero percent odds of T free Tron. Well that was on zero percent, right? That was like ten percent or something. Like two draw steps to a Tron piece. Except in specific scenarios where you have sideboard bullets. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Sorry for the mild trolling of not exactly zero. Actually, not zero percent. All right, tower me, baby. <laughs> Actually. Wow, and I got rid of the other Sylvan's crying. I did not accept force of negation out of their deck. That's kind of cool, actually. Progenitus and Omniscience to pitch to Force of Negation. Well, looks like I should have kept the second Sylvan's Crying. I did obviously not expect any kind of interaction from their deck. Rip. All right, please, Tower. Was I supposed to keep the second, trying not to be result oriented, was I supposed to keep the second Sylvan's Crying or Ulamog there? No, I know, I know we wouldn't have green for Seconds Crying, that's why I didn't keep it, but. Oh, Trips Archon, lovely. Um, well, I have Oblivion Stone. Have outs. Does it matter? <laughs> need to draw Tron will be nine mana. How do I lose if I draw Tron land? Do I need to rebuild? Oh, let's keep form call. Wizards of the Coast. Bless our draw step. I used to really like that deck. I might have even played the Glimpse deck in a in a challenge, the, like that version of the Glimpse deck. I was kind of all about it. I thought it was better than the than the mid range version. Because at least you won the game when you got lucky. All right, Mulligan to five. I got a tower, a map. All right, I should probably keep. And get rid of a relic, even though it might just be the best card somehow. And Worm Coil. 
What if they're living end? That's pretty good against living end. Actual living end, and I bought him the relic. I could have looked them up, but I was like, whatever. I don't know, I had a weird feeling too. I don't know why. Probably just hindsight. Ooh. Ooh, Allah. Okay. Aw, oh, close. Should still take it, right? It's like I'm just getting nutted by a bunch of Cascade decks. Maybe I shouldn't have cut these Warping Whales. They don't have Lethal though. Actual not Lethal. Actual map top deck. Hey, Alash TV, what's up? I think she had to have another force of negation. That would be rude. That would be incredibly rude. I mean, I'm not going to play anything else, right? I mean, I could play a Nugan, I guess. Is a Nugan better? Arguably. Block takes seven. Are I supposed to play Ballista? I have played Ballista. Block shoot and then next turn Ulamog. I didn't think about it. Is MTGO compressed from the sides? Yeah, it shouldn't be. I don't think that's how I made my overlay. Weird. Hmm. Relic's good. I think Leyline's pretty good against them. Grief is a big deal. Rakdusk? Probably not. And then Veil is good. Dismember's not very exciting. Ballista's not very exciting. And then Beseju. Don't really need Beseju. I, I I never lose to Tron was um I never lose to Tron was living end. Feels like it should be close and not that big of a that good of a matchup. But I'm not sure I've ever lost I'm I maybe lost once out of like five plus times I've played the matchup and I'm not even sure. I wonder if I should just get basic forest. Maybe people misplay from the Tron side. Maybe I misplayed game one. I'm not sure I've ever lost this matchup from either side. Yeah, it might be it might be pretty skill dependent. Okay. Hmm. Kind of a weird uh, way to get creatures in the yard. Mine, power plant, tower. Oh, I said I was maybe wanted to get forest. Hmm. Interesting spot, or is it? Just force them to have force of negation. So do we need to have force into a mediocre living end?
Maybe this is just me being lazy. Maybe I should just go for the small spells. Maybe this is why I keep beating Tron players, because they just do shit like that. Instead of playing in a way that they just can't lose. Alright, so I can do that. Actually, this line... Okay, even if they have force of negation, it's not that big of a deal. I wonder if Ulamog is better than Frag Tusk. Why is he so much time? Is this what I think it is? Or oh, it's not. Uh, no Relic. Hard to cast Ulamog. No Tron potential, really. It does dodge. Artifact hate. Mall? Yeah, I think so. This hand is not the absolute worst. We need to remember that 4 force of negation, 4 grief. I think maybe I should just keep, honestly. Should I get rid of Oblivion Stone or. It's nice that after turn one star two against uh, the two two, they can't just own me. Well, I guess they can if they want to deny me green mana. That was easy. Oh, man. Ugh. Doesn't matter against force of negation, it's getting countered. My relic doesn't do anything if they're living in though, whereas my Sylvan Scrying still does something. I think maybe I should just play relic. It's better against force of negation. Much better, infinitely better. Huh. I'll say go. It is stacked properly, yes. Easy clap. I don't know what you're talking about, chat. Isn't that normal? Isn't that just running running at expectation? <laughs> Is this money of my life? I mean, they're both incredible, Relic and Worm Coil. Seems so hard for them to win if I take Relic here. Worm Coil, I could lo still lose to Grief. I'm not going to do that. Play the map, play the relic. Do I get force now or do I take a draw step? Cost me two mana. Why am I playing Tron? Because someone gifted 140 subs yesterday and they kindly requested that I play a bit of Tron. They're playing first. Is that a keep? Lots of air, but lots of digging. Tron Travolta. <laughs> nice. Nice. And you're a sub too. Mulligan, really? Even against Slurus? Doesn't matter. 
Tower, tower, and a map with a sphere and an oblivion stone to come back. Is that a keep? I would keep. Shop, shop, shops played years of Tron at high level, so I'm gonna hope that he knows what he's talking about. And it's pretty bad. Yeah, is it? Oh, I'm on the poker. I'm on the poker scene. That's why I was looking off. Because my poker scene and my magic online stream is very similar. So I was like, well, that's weird. There we go. All right, I'll mulligan again. All right. Um, am I supposed to go down to free cards or should I keep? Okay, not bad. Probably keep Chromatic Star so I can cast a uh, perfect hand. We know they're playing this card. Maybe I should keep just the lands if we thought they're black and not hammer time. You would have kept the other hand redone. Super thoughts. He's what if they're playing hammer time though? And then you have a hand that does nothing. <laughs> would you guys still keep the other hand? I should have played, uh, whoops, now they're gonna know. Hmm. I'd say they're just stirrings, right? Do I keep Olamog or do I keep Tower? All the towers at the bottom, but I could. Assuming Olamog. Very close. Because if I draw like a Chromatic Seer, Chromatic Star, I can just get to Ulamog Mana. Upside of taking Tower though is that I'm pretty much immune to discard spells for the rest of the game. So maybe Tower was better. Yeah, I probably should have taken Tower. Well, I need to win that game one too before they get access to Alpine Moon. Perfect plays. Right, I'm not gonna sack now because they might think I get Blastzone here. They don't. They don't know what I'm getting. If I get Tower, I'm kind of letting them know I have Ulamog. Because if I don't have Ulamog, I'm getting Blastzone here. Oh, we literally revealed Ulamog. Yeah. Maybe they forgot. It was but a dream. All right, is Zulamog actually good enough to win me the game? I mean, we can get rid of it. And you can't counter it. Question is, do I, uh, oh, yeah, have, uh, hmm. Do I get rid of Death Shadow or Thingy? If I get rid of Shadow, they have a two turn clock if they have double bolt or bolt Ragavan kills me too. If I don't get rid of Death Shadow, I they take a big hit and then they have a lethal Death Shadow. Hmm. I don't try to clear too many bolts anymore. 
Dress down doesn't really do a ton. Oh yeah, dress down. Uh, oh yeah, they can dress down and actually eat my little mug in combat. Yeah, so it's not close. Four volt shot. I want to challenge the other leg. Yeah. Yikes. Down to nine. Down to six. They obviously also need um something for my oblivion stone. They need a counter. Okay, I'm dead to just one bolt now. My Boomertron, basically the nation deck list. Mm. Exciting. That's good for me. Yeah, I should have just attacked first, get to see their deck. Oh, they just concede. All right, Relic, probably good. One Veil, probably worth it. Leyline, Leyline's probably meh. They're going to have like one or two Alpine Moons. Oh yeah, that was the multi free. That's true. I wonder if Four Relic is even that great against them. It's kind of okay against Drown. It slows them down a bit. Rakdos could be good. Dismember could be good. Is Oblivion Stone maybe kind of mediocre? Is Fractal still a common board card? I'm not too sure. Oh, Stone's, oh yeah, this sounds good against the Alpine Moons. Alright, so I'm not going to bring in second Basijo and Nature's Claim. Gives them life for Death Shadow, yeah. <laughs> too narrow, I'm just going to rely on Oblivion Stone. Maybe I don't want four relics, maybe just two is fine. Maybe trim a walking ballista. No, maybe trim some of maybe trim a new mug. Like this. Frag Tusk. Frag Tusk also decent against Alpine Moon. Not the greatest against Death Shadow though. But what's that kills Ragavan on turn two? Claiming your own egg against aggro. Yeah, that used to that used to be the plan against burn, right? You'd bring in four nature's claim, kills Eidolon, kills your stars. I think. Or you'd bring in some at least. Alright. This hand kind of sucks against a discard spell. It does have two lands of Blaven Stone. Probably not good enough. Tower, tower, star, star, star. I don't hate it. But once again, it's probably not good enough. All right, this we probably have to keep. Keep, keep, get rid of one of the green cards, I guess. Oh, I need to get rid of two cards, right? Get rid of the Karn, I guess. Could also get rid of Sanctum of Ugin. Sounds really bad against turn one discard spell on my sphere. Maybe that was just another mulligan. Yeah, I think I maybe should have mulligan again. Because, like, any hand was two Tron lands, at least you have outs. Not the worst draw. Ragavan, glorified uh, Llanowar Elf. 
bit better than that. Two on for a red. Draw a card. Power Cryptophidian. What, they're getting full value there. Crown me, baby. No. Should I go Sphere Stirrings? I'm not getting a troll end this, this turn in play anyways. Also, should I play Beseju? Should I just go Sylvan's Crying for one of the Tron lands? I mean, I'm, I'm realistically not getting Tron into play next turn anyways. All right, I'll do strings first, I guess. Huh. They have three card types in the yard. Maybe I should keep a payoff. I guess Ugin's better payoff at this point. Well, Oblivion Star, I can just cast on three. It's better against Spell Pierce. Not much better though. Well, that backfire not finding a Tron land. Me, that was just super greedy. Maybe I needed to be greedy. They are going to kill me extremely fast. They kind of had the nuts and I mulligan into oblivion. Don't feel too bad about that one. But yeah, I think I should have maybe mulliganed again, try to just have any any hand with two uh two Tron lands in my opening hand. Better than that garbage hand I just kept. <laughs> this is fine. Hmm. I should have done something like that in the first place. Last game. Probably should have had all the dismembers on the draw. All relics. Mm. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. The mythical, the fabled seven card keep. Close. Close to a seven card keep. All right, I'll keep that. And get rid of what Ballista or Dismember? I wanna get rid of Dismember maybe. Targeting themselves, no fetch. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. How do you kill a an expedition map on two mana? Do they? Crooks of Shadow. They could have spell pierce. That'd be kind of nasty. A braid? I don't think they play a braid. 
It's also bad if they have um it's also bad in, if they have Alpine Moon to like waste some mana like that. Now I lose my map to a discard spell, which is obnoxious. Do you think healing salve would be too strong if it was a cantrip? Healing salve gains life too, right? It would be like strictly better revitalize plus. I don't know about too strong. You'd probably have a lot of decks that play four, and it would be like really good against some decks. I would just like spawn other archetypes and maybe kind of kill burn in some ways. I mean, people who play revitalize sometimes in in standard formats. All right, our line backfired. It does find the tower anyways. Should I just play uh probably just play Ballista now in case they have another discard spell, right? Probably not a close spot. Also do I take a hit? Do I take a hit or not? Kinda wanna take a hit. All right, let's take a hit. Where is this tower going? Thrown in the lock of walking ballista. Okay, let's put some counters on now. Tense game, yikes. Think I'm losing. Think I'm behind. I have a lot of good tub decks. Well, I have enough tub decks to make up for how, how ahead they are right now. Well, as long as they have like a fetch land and a couple of reasonable cards. Shock land is good too. Do they have another drown? Alpine moon. That works. Hello. Is that how to say hello in the. Uh... In Texas or in the Netherlands, or is it a mix? Dutch Texas. That's how dogs say hello. Okay. How's life? Pretty good. I was a little lazy this morning. I didn't get pretty much anything. Didn't get ahead on anything I need to get done. So that was not great, but other than that. Things are good. All right, worm coil, worm coil, and oblivion stone. So what's the plan here? Chump, kill Chandler, slam a slam a worm coil. Is decent. I'll also Dutch drown in the lock. Oblivion Stone doesn't really get me ahead. Worm Call is kind of bad against Stress Down, though. I also just died to Dress Down. Oblivion Stone or Worm Call Engine. Oblivion Stone sucks against Call against Command. 
that is pretty decent otherwise. Also sucks against spell pierce. Let's all take Quorum Coil. Wait, I could have... Have I passed my attack step yet? Could have just attacked and forced a Trump block, right? Huh. I mean, either way, I'd die to dress down. Well, if they have dressed down, they would have played it, right? Should I even chomp? Oh man, I kind of lost, kind of lost focus. Wait, no, Dreadstone doesn't kill Ballista, right? I'm dumb. Dreadstone doesn't kill Ballista. But Dreadstone will take care of my Worm Call Engine for free next turn. <sighs> I should have just attack last turn. Lose to dress down. Well, yeah, I probably lose to dab dress down, right? Because realistically, I am stuck on six mana. Now I just lose to lightning bolt too, though. <sighs> I butchered the game. I just wasn't even paying attention last turn. I didn't realize how low they were. That sucks. They're not gonna have a ton of lightning bolts left after sideboard. Let's see. What's worse than Lightning Bolt in their deck? Not much. I might just take it. I'm just gonna take it. I don't know. I play I played bad enough. I'll I'll not double down on my mistakes. I'll 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 just not play scared. My game would have been so easy to have nothing. If I just attacked last turn, I'd be in like such a good spot. Not a death shadow. All right, now I wish I had a. Hmm. No, yeah. Oh. Now is to draw in the lock. Should I shoot it now? I'm gonna have to shoot it anyways, right? Does it make a difference? That five card types for Unholy Deed anyways. Might as well not give them the Surveil. So, should be the same spot except I should be at the uh... Should be at six, and I should have four counters on my walking ballista. No big deal. All right, should I attack here? Let's start by casting a relic. I attack. They have to chomp. Or they have to trade. That's got to be good for me, rather than wait till they draw the down. I should have attacked first. I mean, I drew another relic, so it doesn't matter, but that was bad again. Sight this slap. Yeah, I'll just keep the relic around. Plays around discard spell too. I have to attack where I'm dead to bolt. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think they have bolt in their deck. They have like maybe one bolt and not even clearly celebrate in their deck. Yeah, I got bailed out by them. Breaking a bunch. That's 
definitely fortunate. I'm surprised they didn't sag their fetch to try and keep their shadow around. Would have forced me to sack a relic. Uh -huh. It's not very scary. Wait, can I block it? It's fear, right? Huh. Yeah, I just realized Chad obviously had caught it. I actually thought I actually realized on my own though, before looking at chat. <laughs> chat told me, yeah, but I didn't look. Chat vantage. <laughs> Not a bad one to have. Should I just say go here? Or should I attack with death touch, put them down to four, and then do I have a nine nine? Do I care? What if I attack with everything already just dead? They might be have a veil to back it up. Alright, I'll just attack with everyone. Yeah, I've, I've, I've lethal backed up by Bale, yeah. You're really close to getting timed out, Lena. I thought about it. The mouse hovered. I right-clicked your, I right-clicked your name. All right, they're playing Kahira, which means control. Which means dead dismember. All right. I'm assuming control is all different. You don't want to mug and like totally crazy rights. Because they probably have spreading seas. Yikes. <laughs> we beat monolite? Yeah, barely. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep free Tron lands and... Oh, I have... No, I don't have Tron. The 60 card control still plays Seas. Oh, they're not playing... They're playing... They're playing uh, uh, Omnath, maybe? Yo, Canister, what's up? Thanks for the big raid. Welcome everyone from Canister Stream. Sorry about the lack of uh, delightful music. Playing Ultron here. Not doing too bad. Three and one. Could be worse. Let's see, should I sack it now? It's just I'll wait a turn. Bonjour, better call Saul. What is Canister up to today? So he wanted to try the chip, reality chip, uh, reality chip hammer time. Did he just crush? Dino is blue light hammer. Wow. Blue light hammer actually, uh, actually busted, today. Eh? Just wins the challenge. Even Canister can. Can trophy some leagues. Impressive. I don't know, two cards. I forgot they also mulligan into oblivion. Nice. Bubonic Andy says, Here is a song for ya. Bubonic Andy, thanks for your uh, incredible support, as always. Even Canister Sag. I'm joking, I'm joking, you know, I'm joking. Is Lion Sash cringe? Why would a magic card be cringe? Used the, the the English language is so wonderful and varied. Surely you can come up with a better better word than cringe. Yeah. 
Yeah, Wilderness Reclamation's been a thing in Modern lately. Awful played it a bit. Let's see. I think it was Oblivion Stone. That Reclamation scares me. So I have to counter it, I can self the Ballista. Bubonic Indy, gifted sub number 117 to K Prince. Last one, just gonna see K Prince like that. Thank you so much, Indy. And I guess thank you, K Prince, for being a uh, so wonderful that Bubonic Indy couldn't uh, stand seeing you naked. No subs. No sub emotes. Should I play Ballista now for free free or should I play next turn for 10, 12, a 6, 6? Probably now, right? I don't like to play removal. Now? Yeah. Probably better. So way we dodge at least counter spells. Yikes! Is Counterspell ready to get banned yet? The best deck that plays Counterspell in Modern is 4-Color Omnath, probably. Control is pretty average. Bang average. Ace. Hmm. So they're not icing Ballista. So if I don't... How do I maximize mana here? I could put two counters on Ballista and then one more. Or I could hope my top deck is good. Did I really change my clock in a meaningful way? Probably does have a two turn clock anyways. Free, free, I can... So, all right, I'll let them have it. I mean, casting spells might be a trap anyways, though. I guess it's just Pum Ballista. I didn't even have Ulamog mana. And Ulamog's really the only card that's really super exciting to draw right now. <laughs> Comrades. Comrade Kahira. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't ice a uh, walking bullet. I guess they don't know my hands. They were scared. Is that Deluge? I need to find another ice. I suppose some action. Not even the whole song. No, it's blurb and it you can't it's like ten seconds or something. You can't get the whole song. Maybe there's a way. I like how I put one counter before attacking, just to confuse them. All right, I think we win, right? What are they gonna have for two mana if they didn't have ice? Ice, ice, baby. Ba -boom, boom, ba -boom, boom, boom, boom. Rally, you gonna make me do it? Okay. All right. All right, Veil seems good. A lot of stuff could be good. Do they have Ragavan in their sideboards? Am I gonna get owned by a Ragavan? Relic, Baseju, Claim, all like, pretty interesting. Baseju, is Baseju better than Nature's Claim though? Xarin, thank you so much for your Prime sub. Welcome to the sewer.
I'm not sure exactly what's in the deck. Could cut a blast zone. Bring Basiji over Blast. I could maybe cut both Blast Zone. Or oh, they might have their own Alpine Moon, right? Maybe... Relic's not that exciting. It's just Delusion. Delusion's not very good if you have Nature's Claim. Can you do two Nature's Claim? I have Oblivion Stone too. Oblivion Stone's probably not very good, right? No, no help in chat. Chat's like absolute crickets right now. Sounds like I'm on my own. Of course, I could look up a deck list and have a better idea, but where, where would the fun be? Where would the fun in that be? What's the matchup? Femur Reclamation. Believe it or not. Wow, two little mugs, zero Tron lands. Easy keep. Should I keep warm coal or seems like one of the worst frets? I'll bottom warm coil. I'll draw another I'll draw a better fret. Surely. We do a star, I guess, if you have removal for it. Oh, sorry. Surely they're gonna get resolve Solon's crying. Jokes on the F card, anyways. Was that seven cards I kept? No. It's all pretty good. Pretty good six card hand. Is strong playable or is this a Kokian stream? It was more of a like the nation deck list. Doesn't seem terrible. I an O2 drop yesterday, now I'm three and one and I don't know. My list yesterday was kind of bad. Um let's see. I think I just want to jam into counter. Make them have it, not let them just charm. All right, let's see. Maybe bait was Oblivion Stone. I'm not in a rush, right? I can just say go in Oblivion Stone Wreck. Or that's Fury. It's not like my hand's doing much anyways. I mean, I have a draw from the Sphere, I guess. That's about it. Good in second main, but really it doesn't make that big of a difference there. Because it can still cast it anyways. I guess just no. Ran in sixth. I mean that's our supposed to use claim. Hmm. Let's do that. Little detour. Little tower detour. And I just plus on the run, probably. Little T tours. Fetch Sanctum for Ugin next turn. That seems kind of slow. I don't know, I didn't feel like they had a counter spell the way the game played out. I could be wrong. I feel like they might have tried to counter Oblivion Stone. Are we gonna get to trigger Ugin? That'd be fun. 
Pardon, this could be for evil. Ballista or worm coil? This ballista hits much harder. Let's go. Has March of Utterly Lightfall good to anyone? Yeah. I think Canister kind of liked it enough to play it in his challenge deck. I played it. It was good for me when I played it. I'm not going to claim it was always uh, better than Unholy Heat or it was mostly the same as Unholy Heat, but it was good. I did get a Saga once. I think it's actually really good. I think I would maybe actually play, try and play four between main and sideboard in the four color Omnath deck. Maybe you just want to go up to four March and four Boseju for a bunch of different matchups. They're just so versatile and so good against Saga, and then you just wreck anyone who's playing Urza Saga. Okay. I don't know if that card actually does a ton against them, but I don't know. At least my claim's resolving. Usually these Reclamations, like, they don't do a ton once they, as long as they don't have Reclamation going. You think it will replace Fire Ice and Blue White? March, different cards, but if if I was to try Blue White Control, I would probably just play four in the main deck. I'd just play four ending, four March. Maybe not four Solitude, honestly, but... It's just so good to have all these great removal spells. What's Reclamation trying to do? I believe he had Nexus of Fate. Just kind of take over with Deluge. Just use the overwhelming mana advantage and now they're going to take down on Ugin. No? Hmm. This deck, no. I'm not sure if you want a copy of Urza Saga in Tron. All right. Damn it. Damn you and your bolt. The sad part is when I do get to ultimate, they're probably not even going to let me resolve. They're probably just going to scoop. So it's like... It's not bad. Not a bad draw. I can put a counter on it again. Fate counter. Kind of surprising they still have so many bolts. They must have no nothing in their sideboard against us. I guess they don't know I don't have Karn the Great Creator. Lightning Bolt can be decent against Karn the Great Creator. It can also be decent against 7 mana Karn. A lot of time you go 7 mana Karn minus. Then maybe you can make a comeback, bolt the Karn and... Is Etron not a deck anymore because of Ragavan? I think Etron is not a deck anymore because of... Probably a lot of little things. I forget. I think it's a combination of things, so... I mean, it was always like kind of a 50-50 against a field deck, like kind of an average deck and... Maybe it just got power crept, just overall power crept, I guess. Stuff like Solitude, like even Prismatic Endings decent against you. Turn on Ragavan's probably annoying. Um, yeah. On Holy Heat, yeah, just probably lots of little things, honestly. Should I get Blast Zone? Should I get Sanctum of Ugin? I don't think I need Vesejo. I'm not sure what I'm even getting rid of with Blast Zone, though. Maybe just Vesejo. I'll get Sanctum, why not? 
All right, how many more bolts do I have to be, chat? Two lightning bolts down so far. Might be Snapcaster time, though. Surely. Surely this is it. Please let me have my fun. Opponent. We've been waiting for the past 10 turns. Please don't scoop now. If you're listening, if you're watching, which you probably are not, but... Huh? They probably, they probably think they can still beat it. I mean, they're playing Nexus of Fate. They said, have fun, chat. Wow. What a hero. Actual hero. Is that really the best I can... Oh. Oh, I don't even have... I mean, I can make a big ballista, I guess. Oh, that's not overwhelming. Um, all right. Plenty? It's not enough to kill them. Do I have lethal? I actually don't have lethal. Oh, wait, I can, uh, that works, right? Right, right, right. So I need to keep 10 mana? Oh, I forgot to float one mana. Oops. Okay, let's shoot uh let's let's use the triggers uh triggers from Ulamog to kill the lands and then Ballista to uh to shoot friend. I wonder if they can actually still win. Maybe? No, not with, not not when they have to claim and veil in hand, right? Because the only way they win is like reclamation, like deluge into reclamation plus nexus, into deluge plus nexus, into deluge, etc, etc, etc. The fact that I have claim plus veil probably means they're, they're just can't realistically get out of it. All right, GG the Edo. Double rec plus Nexus. Yeah, I mean, but obviously the way the game played out, there's no way they had that. All right, my mono green Tron expertise. What was good, what wasn't? I think a load of ballistas was great. Just so flexible. It's kind of good against everyone. Maybe maybe it should just be four ballista. It's one of the few cards you can actually cast when you've got nothing. I don't know if I think three ballista is I don't know what they play on average. Was Worm Cold a little underwhelming? They want me to game against Step Shadow. The fact that I could had something when they had Alpine Moon. And it was decent for me overall. It's reality castable. It's it was good against um